Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost, we'll give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, the Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakodash, double honor to the apostles, the elders of GMS, who rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. It's GMS, Arkansas, Preacher Cal. Uh, just coming with a short lesson, just pushing the truth, the spirit and power, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, as much as we can until the, until the day of destruction comes to America. And our evil twin brother Esau. Uh, I watching a video that the uh, elder brothers last night did uh, Dallas, and I was watching uh, parts of videos of the brothers, GMS in Annapolis camp. They were uh, both both camps was through the spirit. They were dealing with uh, that little this this movie. I think that that's out where it shows where. Uh, Jake had the powers to take away slavery and whatnot, and Esau is up in arms about it. You know, um, I'm about to, um, look more into it. But yeah, it's it's beautiful that uh, that is basically right along with, with what the scriptures is because our slavery, our captivity, our punishment is basically accomplished. And we're about to go into this paradise, man. And it's going to be forever. And Esau is jealous. But see, he's in his rulership right now. He is in his rulership. Because, you know, he's getting ready to lose it. So he's he's weeping like he did before. Like he weeped before, you know. He's a weeper, man. So they, they don't want to give up that, that rulership right now. But the thing, I was... I was we was talking, I was talking with the brother uh Bon Sapad is like damn, nobody's saying nothing about the person who wrote the movie. It's like you're mad at uh Jake, you're mad at the Negroes, but like you're not mad at whoever wrote the movie. We didn't write the movie. Esau wrote it. This is Job nine twenty four. It says the herb is given it to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? We don't have the power in Hollywood to write these movies, man. It's a, you know, now, hey, what if he's the person who wrote it? What if he's a, a Jake inside, you know, uh, in the spirit? We don't know, but like, for as it seems, he's an Edomite that wrote the movie. They're not up in arms about uh, who wrote it. But it's like they just get mad at Jake for no reason, man. We don't have that power. Right now we are on the bottom, you know. But Esau, you know, losing and losing the grip on their rulership, and that's probably why they're uh, all in arms. You know, they want to be. Um, let's walk hand in hand and be holy, you know. But there, there's no way for you to be such. This is the main scripture I just want to read. You know, uh, this is Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, the Most High said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Right? You go into the word declare, uh, support, to count, to recount, to re relate, to count things, to reckon, right? To rehearse. You know, so what has thou to do to rehearse the statutes, right? The statutes wasn't given to you. It was given to the, uh, the children of Jacob. Because we read in Genesis, it says, hey, the uh, the first that came out read all over like a hairy garment. When, when Jacob gave the blessing, the blessing was that you were to serve the younger. The elder shall serve the younger. And at this particular time, the elder is not serving the younger. The younger is serving the elder. And that time, everything has an end, man. You know, it has a beginning. It has uh, basically like an end in this particular uh, eon here, in this particular world. So your, your end of your rulership is ending. Who wouldn't be mad, you know? If somebody gave me a certain time to rule, I'll be I'll be doing everything and saying everything. I'll be mad at everybody if my rulership was getting ready to end too, you know. And 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 uh, and, and bad things are going to happen to me. 
I'll be mad too. You know, but y'all, y'all, y'all trying to uh, basically, you know, be mad at Jake for a, a movie with Sean where basically there's no more slavery, man. That shows the weakness of you Edomites, man. You know, it shows the weakness of you Edomites. A lot of probably other Edomites feel the same way, but you always have certain ones that want to speak up. And those be the ones in the spirit who are probably slave owners. The lady that spoke up, it was a lady at, on the video talking. She probably was the wife of a slave owner, man, back in the day. You know, she probably was the wife of a slave owner. That's that's in her spirit, man. You know, so she's going to have to pay and she's going to be recounted on all the things she's done against Jake. Even though what she's saying now, she gonna it's gonna she's gonna have to pay for it. It says, uh, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or shouldst thou take my covenant in thy mouth, man? Y'all always wanna speak like y'all holy and y'all believe in the Lord, but y'all don't, man. Y'all believe in Satan, man. And that's what it is. It says, seeing thou hatest instructions, man. You hate the instructions of the Heavenly Father. You you do everything adverse to the, what the scriptures say, man. You're in charge right now. Everything you're doing is against the, the scriptures. You pass laws for homosexuality, right? You, you marry your own animals. That's adverse. You do nothing according to the scriptures, man. You poison the food. You poison the water. You poison the air. Everything is going against the Heavenly Father, man. But that's who you are. You're Esau, man. You're the devil that the Bible speaks of. And thou, and thou, and cast it, my words behind thee, man. You did it way back in, when you were Cain, man. You know, you sold your birthright to Jacob for a morsel of meat. You didn't, you didn't want it then. You cast everything that was in your future behind you right then. And then you, and you want to cry when, when, uh, the Lord put the spirit on, on your father to give the blessing to your younger brother. Then you want to cry and look for a blessing. But then when you got the blessing of the sword, guess what? You've been using it. You've been a, a, a beautiful murderer, man. You've been an excellent thief. You know? And it says, When thou sowest a thief, thou consented with him and has been partakers with adulterers, man. And that's what y'all do, man. Y'all push that adultery, man. You push, you push that adverse way of life, man. You have a thing called Hollywood. People want to be actors, man. You make them do all kind of weird shit and take all kind of weird oaths and swear unto your allegiance, like like you tried to get your house shy to swear in Matthew the fourth chapter. You know, giving them the kingdoms of the world if they'll bow down and do all kind of wicked acts, man, with you, man, and lay in the bed with with you, with you, you know. It says, thou givest thy mouth to evil. You speak evil about everybody. You continue to slander the nation of Israel. You know, you make us look bad. The thing now, the last few years, you've been having police shoot Jake down in the street. And how, how are these cops getting off on blatant murder, man? Jake's don't even have weapons. Y'all hey, are getting off. You know, it's crazy, man, out here. But that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, thy tongue frames deceit. You're a liar. You're a constant liar, man. You know? And it says, Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, which is Jacob, and thy slanders thy own mother's son, man. Since you're in rulership, you have never, ever, every time you're in rulership, you have never been a, a good brother to us, man. Now, when you're, when you're uh, at your end, you want to try to seek to please the poor, man. You know, it speaks to that in Job. You know? But, hey, the Most High is, is bringing your kingdom down. I just wanted to read that scripture. You know? Uh, I'm going to read 21. These things have thou done, and I kept silent. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. So all the wickedness that you've done to the nation of Israel, you've looked around and the Lord hasn't destroyed you for it. So you thought the Lord was all together with you. The shootings, the hangings, the beatings, the, the mistreatment of, of the nation of Israel, your brother, man. 
you know, but that your time of reckoning is coming. Such as one as thyself, I will reprove thee, and I will set them in order before thy eyes. And that's what you see the Lord doing. When you see these men out on the highways and byways, these prophets going out, trying to wake the people up through the spirit, waking the elect up. The Lord is setting order up. He's doing it. He's doing it through through speaking, through a spiritual speaking. We're speaking words, man, reading from his his book, because in the beginning was what the word. So we're reading the Lord's word and this word is set in that order, is set in that kingdom, is building that temple. And, and soon it's, it's going to be physical when the Lord shows up with his angels, his mighty angels, and give the brother spiritual power. And then it's going to be physical. And we're going to make you recount on everything that you've done and everything that you said. And with that, I hope all, all praises, honor, and glory be to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles, elders of GMS who rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. It's GMS stop and listen. I hope this little short lesson was edifying. A bob, a bar, a bob, a bar, a bar out of woman, a bar out of woman. Shalom.